Hi, I'm Chris Haig and this is the Fiddle Channel. Today we're going to play the Dusty Windowsill and this has a fascinating story behind it. Now, Dusty Windowsill um, is not a traditional tune, which I didn't realise until I started researching it. It was written by Johnny Harling in Chicago, and the year was 1977. And the interesting thing about this is the title Dusty Windowsill. Uh, believe it or not, it was written on a Dusty Windowsill. Um, he, was a, he is a whistle player and uh, he was staying at someone's house and the tune came into his head and he wrote it out with his finger on this dusty windowsill. Um, but even more interesting is that apparently the, the tune he'd just been listening to on the radio was called Dust in the Wind by Kansas, uh, which was a hit in 1977. And, um, uh, my sources for the information on all the tunes that I play uh, come from the Fiddler's Companion website and the Session.org. And um, Fiddler's Companion uh, confirms the first part of the story, but says that uh, there's no evidence for the dust in the wind part of the story. But the Session has a, um, a discussion which includes a letter by someone who talked on the phone to uh, Johnny who wrote this tune and he did in, indeed confirm in this conversation that he'd been listening to Dust in the Wind by Kansas. So there you go. It's an interesting tune. Um, the third part is quite difficult, but we'll, we'll come to that. We'll go through it part by part. So, uh, three-part tune, starting in uh, on an A. And I like, with jigs, often to start with an up bow, but there's certainly no need to do that if you don't want. One, two, three, four... I like to start with an up bow is because it gives me a down on the second beat, which is an accent that I like. And on this part, I'm doing a big a big accent on the one and the three. Double cut is nice on that note. And again. Second part is nice with a slide. Nice roll on that G note. Yeah. And notice these are all separate bows, but they they're really smooth, um, and it's because I'm making the the short ones really short. with a down then you're going to start the next bow with an up because it's five notes per bar 
So a lot of people will do da da da, but three notes instead of two at the beginning. And then this part, normally people would play an E with a open string, but crossing from that's really hard. So I think you should use your fourth finger if you can. Again, a, a double cut on the A. You could do a treble on either the first or the second of the A's. And it's almost certainly because it was written on the tin whistle uh, rather than the fiddle that this doesn't run so naturally off the fingers. Let's do all the way through with some backing. Made a show. Hello, Puss. I want you to say hello. <laughs> Here we go. It's Whiskers. Say hello to uh, all the fiddle fans. And uh, thank you for watching. Thank you for meowing. Thank you for watching. If you want a copy of the music, then subscribe and send me an email, and I'll be very happy to send that to you. And uh, see you again in the next one.